I believe what prompted my nomination was I work with um, UAB Safe Zone and then also some of the research that I've been involved with. So um, UAB Safe Zone is a uh, peer education program. It's through the Office of Student Multicultural University Programs. And what we do is teach students and faculty and um, staff uh, about like gender, sex, sexuality, as well as power and oppression. Students make up the life on campus. Um, faculty and staff work with students. And so by educating them on you know, ways that they can be less harmful to other students, it really does ultimately make UAB safer. I've done a lot of work on um, like health disparities um, in regards to marginalized populations. So this past summer, I worked um, in the UAB, UAB School of Public Health the Department of Epidemiology um, with Dr. Hidalgo. I worked on uh, health disparities with um, Hispanic and Latinos in regards to childhood obesity. With Safe Zone, our education is really geared towards making campus more inclusive. Like we hope to like educate the people who make up UAB's campus so that you know while they're here at UAB, they can make the campus safer for other students. But then also when they go off, um, you know whether they're working at UAB or not, they can make the world more like safe, more inclusive, make it so that people actually you know feel like they are engaged and feel like they're valued. That's kind of how you. That's kind of how we affect change on UAB's campus because you know students come, they get educated, and then they transfer that knowledge, tell other students, or at the very least, you know they carry that with them in their day-to-day -day life, and then they're not acting as harmfully um, towards you know their fellow students or towards their fellow citizens as they would have been without that knowledge. The advice that I would give, based on my experiences, is really just to like look at yourself, look at your experiences, look at your identities, and then just like go go read, just like go pick up a book and try to understand like how your identity fits into the world, how really all of your identities fit into the world. I know that I'm black, I'm queer, but I'm, I'm also a man. And with those come privileges, with those come, you know, um, oppressions as well. Uh, I would say that in regards to like, you know, getting involved, look if there's, look if there, look and see if there's a need somewhere on campus and then fill that need. And if there's not a need, then just go and join wherever the people are doing the kind of work that you want to do and see how you can get involved.